Just about a year ago, I picked up some coilovers for my 2013 Scion FRS. After browsing around for a decent time, I decided to go with the Tane Flex Z coilovers. After installing them and driving them around for a year or so now, I thought I'd sit down for a little bit and give my personal experience with them on today's episode of The Build Sheet. Now, before we go ahead and get into it, don't forget to subscribe. I know there's like a bunch of you out there that are watching this or have watched this and you aren't subscribed yet. I can see you, not in like a weird way, but like an analytical way. And don't forget about the giveaway we got going on with ESR Forge. We're giving away a set of multi-piece Forge wheels. So check the description below, head on over to fitmentindustries.com, check out how to enter and the absolutely dope three pieces of apparel that we have launched specifically for this giveaway, including this hoodie right here. I ended up snagging a set of Tane Flex Z coilovers last December. While shopping around for a new suspension setup, I ended up going with the Flex Z coilovers for a couple of reasons. Number one, of course, the price. As one of the most affordable suspension options out there right now, Tane has become one of the most popular go-to suspension options for either lowering springs or entry-level coilovers. For an $884 price tag, I decided that these were going to be the coils that I was going to go with. Now, a quick note about Tane suspension and their coilovers. There are multiple options that they have, and it can get a little bit confusing right off the bat. There's the Street Basis Z, there's the Street Advanced Z, the Monosport, the Flex Z, and the Flex a, all of which are different in their own way and are suitable for different applications. We actually have a video breaking down each line of coilovers from Tane that you can go check out. It explains all the differences. However, the Flexi is what I chose because it was a complete coilover kit, which meant I didn't have to use any of the OEM parts from the original strut assembly to actually install them. When I got the coilovers in the mail, I did a quick inspection, of course, to make sure that everything was good, good to go. There was everything looked correct. Quality of the coilovers looked good. The finish was good. The packaging was nice enough to keep everything from getting damaged and all that sort of good stuff. And when it came to the installation of the coilovers, just like most other coilovers, everything was pretty straightforward. For the FRS BRZ GT86 platform, it is a complete strut assembly replacement, both in the front as well as in the rear. Everything went as you would expect, except those fucking sway bar end links. I stripped the Allen head on the ball joint. All right, I know. We spent hours trying to get the damn things off and you're probably just saying, Giles, why, you know, wouldn't you just cut them off? You know, they're replaceable. And I would have done that. However, local part shops around these parts don't carry sway bar end links for these cars. Why? I don't know, but they're a special order item. I'm taking like weeks to get here. I wasn't about to do that. This is when I realized something. There are some companies out there that actually include new sway bar end links with their coilover kits for this reason specifically. Tane, however, is not one of them. So just something to keep in mind. However, once we got that situated and managed to get the end links off, everything else went as planned. Everything lined up well, was labeled well, so we knew which side was the left side and the right side for the front, which does matter. And in the matter of a night in the shop, we had everything all buttoned up and ready to go. With the Tane Flexi, you get all of your basic coilover amenities, adjustable ride height, adjustable damping, and depending on your vehicle, adjustable camera plates in the front. We set everything to where I wanted to start with and I was on my way. My first impressions of the coilovers was exactly, well, as I expected. What's What Tane puts out there for expectations and they really do kind of hit it right on the head. The ride is very, very similar to OEM feel. You can feel more control with the car, but it's not harsh by any means. Tane doesn't use a high spring rate in their coilovers. With a few clicks of damping adjustment and all that kind of stuff, it was right where I wanted to be. Now, before we go any further, I just want to put out there that my FRS is practically my daily driver outside of the winter months here in Wisconsin. And by no means is it a track car or a race car or anything like that, but I wanted something that was able to handle some spirited driving and still be comfortable enough to daily. And I think the Tane Flex Z's have accomplished just that. During the summer, I participated participated in a road rally for the first time where I was really able to put the suspension through its first real test. And I was really happy with how the car handled and performed on the coilovers, even with OEM wheels and tires. Since then, it continued to daily the car throughout the rest of the summer into fall with absolutely zero issues. With just about 9,000 miles or so on them, I'm happy that I went with them as my suspension of choice for my car. So overall, the Tane Flex Z coilover is an absolutely solid choice for someone who's looking to go lower with their car and have that adjustment of coilovers without risking the aspect of 
daily driving and of course without breaking the bank. They're not an aggressive coilover by any means, meaning that the spring rate is softer than other options out there on the market. And there isn't an option to go with a higher spring rate or a different spring rate, simply just to keep the cost of their suspension lower. However, that doesn't mean that Tane picked a bad spring rate to go with or just grabbed one out of the blue and stuck it onto their suspension. They went through actually a ton of R&D testing per platform to pick out the best spring rate that they saw suitable for their suspension and of course for that car. In all honesty, I would recommend Tane coilovers for anyone out there who's looking to get into their first set of coilovers or for someone who wants to lower their daily but also have some fun with it. Personally, my plans are to keep them on for probably about another year or so and then maybe move on to something like air suspension because I just maybe just want to try that world for a little bit because you know why not? We offer all different lines of Tane coilovers at fitmentindustries.com so if you're looking for a set of coilovers for your car you can head on over there check it out for yourselves you can actually punch in your vehicle into our fitment gallery over there to see firsthand what your car would look like on a set of Tane coilovers lowering springs whatever it might be check it out fitmentindustries.com but that's going to wrap it up for today don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching we will see you later Peace.